Okay, I know some of y'all are having um, a hard time seeing um, the planets. And again, <laughs> you have to admit, um, space and how we perceive distance and things, um, pretty interesting. So what I've done here, I have taken this and just simply put it in the reverse negative light. And I think this will help a whole lot. So our sun's going down, and you can really see in here as well is the difference how the atmosphere is. Hmm. I'm assuming that that is part of the International Space Station. <laughs> okay. So from the previous video. You know, you feel like telling the guy, would you quit moving that cursor? <laughs> yeah, but he just won't listen. All right, so here we go. Oh, th now that was the last time. But you can see it. There it is. Now, I know it looks really small, um, but it is a, a planet. Um, <clears throat> so you can see. And again, it's just a tiny dot. But, and just to kind of advance this a little bit, and then you're going to be really able to see the moon as it comes into frame. That's what he says as he's learning to come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And that's the moon. So now we get the orientation and you can go to any planetary software and now you can begin to get a pretty idea and I think I'm right. Um, someone said it could have been um, Mars, but I don't. They don't know. And now you don't see it because it's actually gone behind the Earth. But there's the moon, folks. Thought I'd add there so everyone could actually see it. All right. Have yourself a good one.